crazy like when I think about my uh, childhood. Some people say they remember when they were three. I don't remember any of that. I was born in Seoul. I was there for about a year or so, then we moved to Hawaii with my grandma. And it's crazy too, like I, apparently I died and then came back to life. Like they, My heart stopped and then I came back to life. Huh? I just know we came here illegally. I grew up in Gardena pretty much my whole life. I started skating late though, you know, I started skating when I was 14. South Bay and skating in the South Bay, there was a lot of skateboarding going on. Like, I ended up skating for a local skate shop called Sporting Ideas. Christian Asoy, Steve Caballero, Tommy Guerrero, Nodis Coppice, the Z Boys, those guys, they would go around there from, most of them were based out of Carson. They didn't even look like skaters, you know, they looked like they were from gangs. And for me, I was, it was relatable. Gavin brought Rudy Johnson, Jerron Wilson, and Sean Sheppy. And then for me, I brought Mark Johnson, Rodney Mullen, and uh, JB Gillett. That was our team, including me and Gavin, so there was eight memories that were like pretty rad about the brand. Yeah, Maddox Clothing, 15 years. I remember when it just, you know, when we first started it, me, Kevin, Brian, and Gavin. It's just funny how all these things we talked about on the kitchen floor, having pizza, it actually went into motion and just was like, wow, here's the first samples. And finally, like, I drew this little squiggle, so I just drew it up on a napkin. The squiggle M almost reminded me of like somebody pushing just the legs but of like a weird wiggly stick figure you know you know it's awesome at the same time it's still here and uh we're still pushing hard Legal. 